Hello, welcome to my next video on the uh, specialized AI professional certification preparation guide. And again, we are looking into the AI center, but this time the topic is different. On this video, we'll be looking into the ML packages. So in the previous one, we looked at the data sets and few options that we have there. And here we'll see a bit more in detail about the ML packages. So this is also part of the UiPath AI Center overview course in the academy. And by now you may remember the definition of this. So it is actually a set of code and a bunch of metadata that is given to us to, to serve various machine learning activities. So that's the definition of ML packages as you see on the screen. So what are the things we can do with this? ML packages. So let's quickly have a look at the documentation. Um, first of all, um, there are like several types of ML packages. One is the out of the box packages and the other one is the custom built one. Out of the box is what is given to you by UiPath, which can be already free trained or it could be um, not trained, but it allows you to train on your own data. And on the other side, these also could be the custom ones, could be your own machine learning packages that you have created. So we can actually look at it in the AI center as well. So over here, if you go into the ML packages, you have two options. Actually, in the latest one, we have three options, but for the certification, we are looking into the 22.10 version. And there you will see the upload zip file where you can add your own custom package or else you can use the out of the box package. And um, so these are the two main categories we have, custom and the out of the box. And on the, under the out of the box one, you'll see um, packages that are given to you by UiPath or it could be open source or it could be provided to you by their technology partners. So all three will be available there. To get started, let's see what information we have here. So in the ML package screen, you will by default see these options, the name of the package once it is created, the description, status, whether it's deployed as a skill or not, the modified date, and the modified by. So this is the package, like the high level information about the different packages. But once you go inside the package, you will see three options here, version specific, pipeline runs, and the logs related to this specific package. So what do we see here? Under versions, we see the package version, uh, whether we have done any trainings and what is the training version, the date this is created, change logs, status whether it's deployed or not, and whether the training is enabled for this package or not. So this is what you see on the grid, but there are a few extra things that you can see if you go here under details. Here you can see the input description, output description, change log, input types, GPU recommended, and the training enabled. So just remember these options that these are the things that you can see under version. And if you go into pipeline runs, here you can see everything related to your pipeline the name of the pipeline, the package, the type, version. Type means whether it's a training pipeline or an evaluation pipeline or a full pipeline. The version, status created, duration, and the, finally the score, the evaluation score. Under ML logs, you can see everything related to that package. The logs related to that package. These are the options you'll see. Um, in the ML packages. So let me try to find if I can see anything related to pipelines here. Yeah. So 
So under pipeline, this is another package. I did not have the data in the previous one. So here you can see what happened with those runs. And under logs, you can see everything related to that. So this is under the package. So remember, these are the information that you can find under the ML package screen. And that being said, now let's go back to the packages. Here, I told you that we have the out of the box one. So what are the information provided here? What kind of different packages we can find here? So let's look at the documentation. So over here, this is the overview of ML packages. And down here, you can actually see what are the types of packages that we have. And these are like five main categories. One is related to document understanding. The other one is the document classifier, ML packages with OCR capabilities, and out of the box pre-trained packages, and other out of the box packages. So these are the five categories we have. And if we go into document understanding, here you can see all the models that are related to the document understanding package. So it basically includes uh, several things. Yeah, so this is mainly referring to the generic document understanding package we have. It is not pre-trained. As you see here, this must be trained before deploying. So it is the generic one that you can use to train on your custom documents. If you don't have a pre-trained one, you can use this and train it on your own data. So that's first one. The second one is the document classifier. And this is also a retrainable one before deploying because you can use this one for your own custom document classification activities. Same as the previous one, but that was for extraction. Here it is for classification. And the ML packages with OCR capabilities. So this is interesting. This is mainly for, actually for on-prem and cloud both, but it also has specific ones for on-premise. The document understanding OCR. So this is the one that we need to use when you're using the document understanding OCR engine through uh, AI Center, you can use this one instead of using the default OCR endpoint. You can create your own endpoint using this. And on the other side, if you want to use uh, GPU or CPU with the OCR, and this is mainly ap applicable for on-premise, you can use this option available in AI Center. It also has the capability for uh, working with specific languages like Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. So that's the OCR related ones. And then we have the out of the box pre trained ML packages. And over here, you can find everything related to the pre trained extractors. So UiPath has given us a, quite a lot of pre trained extractors that are already trained and ready to use. And most of these are related to different uh, categories like document understanding, object detection, and likewise. Let's get into those things in a short while. But there, just remember that there's quite a lot of uh, models that are available for us. So those are the pre-trained extractors. So you can get into the details about these extractors uh, here in the documentation, I have provided the links in the description. And the next one is out other out of the box ones. And this is something spe special because this is referring to the signature comparison. So this is a specific model that is again provided on the out of the box, but slightly different compared to the rest. So now you know the five main categories. Now let's look at under these things, under the out of the box packages, let's, we are going to the next level now for the out of the box. 
Under the out of the box packages, you will see another level. So let's go here so that I can easily show it in the AI center. So once you go inside out of the, out of the box, you will see a few things that are provided to you. <clears throat> we have, I mentioned that some of these things are provided by UiPath itself and some are open source. So that's the level you see here. So under UiPath, you have specific models for UiPath document understanding, image analysis, language analysis, and task mining. Under document understanding, you will see the list of models available, pre-trained for document processing related things. The same list that we saw in the documentation. And for image analysis, you see a couple of things like image classification and signature comparison. And for language analysis, you will see a set of activities provided by UiPath for these uh, tasks. Now remember these things are pre-trained. And under open source, you will see something common here. Um, image analysis stuff and language analysis. But what I showed previously is for UiPath and these are specifically from out of the box uh, open source models that are available. So great. So these are the things that we can use. And I want to show one more thing as a part of this video over here. Um, if you if you want to know what are the pre-trained ones and what are the models that needs custom training, you can go into this link under out of the box packages and see the list here. This basically says what are the pre-trained models, what are the models that you can train on your own data. So it's always important for our certification to look into the academy course and also as a part of that look into this documentation. These documentation links are provided in the academy down here. If you scroll down, um, within this learning plan, uh, you will find all the documentation related to, yeah, it's here. All the documentation that you need to look into as a part of this training. And this is under ML packages. Um, okay, so now the last part. What are the things that you need to consider when you're creating a package? So let's take one out of the box one. There are a few things that we need to configure. So just for the purpose, let's take one from document understanding. Let's take this. So when you're trying to create a package, you need to choose the version, which version you are going to use. So by default, we usually select the latest one. And it will also say whether it's a retrainable one or is it not retrainable. And when you're creating the package, these are the information you need. You need a package name, description, input description, and output description. Some are given to you by default. And when it comes to the name, look into this thing. Package name should contain only English characters, numbers and underscores and should start with a character and end, end with alphanumeric. So basically you cannot have spaces and those kind of special things. So if I say something like this, it will not accept it. So it has to be based on these criteria. Only English characters numbers and underscores. So if I say that is a valid name. Also in the documentation it gives a bit more information about what are the things that you cannot use here. In this section uh, remember these important points. This is also helpful when you are doing the development on actual projects and when you are doing the naming of these packages. So that's it for this video and I think we covered few things related to the ML packages that can be helpful.
If you have any more questions, feel free to drop a message in the comment section or reach out to me directly through social media. So thank you for listening. I will see you in another video as a part of this series. Until then, take care.